Morning, Barry. Morning. Um, okay, so um, you're progressing quite nicely. Looking forward to today's lesson then? Yes, I am. Thanks. Excellent, good. Okay, so um, recapping on the last lesson then, um, we did those left turns and right turns, yeah. uh, both into a side road and emerging. Um, how are you feeling about those now? Pretty good, yeah, yeah, I think it went okay. Okay, um, so just give me some reminders then. Uh, what was the routine you used on those junctions? Oh, it was that MSPSL one. Okay, and what did it stand for? So, um, mirror signal, mm. position, speed and look. Excellent, excellent. And uh, where did you scale yourself at the end of the lesson with the did MSPSL? Did sort of seven or eight or something? Great. Mm. Do you think you're still there, seven, eight? Yeah, I think so. I might have might have gone rusty a little bit. I don't know. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was going quite good. Good. So we're going to. Um, um, how were you feeling about trying the left and right turns initially um, before we move on to crossroads, or would you like to have a go at the crossroads straight away? I think the crossroads. Yeah, I think have a go at crossroads. Okay. Good. Okay. So with the MSPSL, where do you want that seven and eight to be later on today? Um, so. Probably just to improve it a little bit more, really, just to make it up maybe to an eight oh, or okay. even a nine. Brilliant, excellent. Okay, we can certainly do that. So, um, with the crossroads, then um, again, do you would you like me to explain it to you before you have a go, or would you like to basically just straight into it and have a go? I think explain it again just okay. because it looks slightly different. Yeah, excellent. Okay. So I essentially it's going to be similar to what we've already been mm. doing. Yeah. You're going to use that routine, MSPSL again. Yeah. Okay, um, cool. Now you've got different sorts of crossroads. Um, you've got unmarked crossroads. So irrespective which direction you're coming from, um, who do you think is going to have priority there? because there's no markings is it like everyone's the same yeah good so there's no priority this time right. so irrespective which you, you're going you're going to have to be quite cautious um, so if we take an example we discussed closed junctions last week yeah? yeah so if it was closed what's the speed do you think you'd approach I think did you say sort of um, eight yeah. Eight to ten or yeah. something. Maybe second, even yeah. first, yeah. Oh, we did that creeping forward. That's it. Last time. Excellent. If it was open, on the other hand, what sort of speed might you go and approach then? Was it sort of going up like 10 to 12? Yeah, good. So the, your speed depends upon how much you can yeah. see, yeah? Okay. Again, I'll talk you through them. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So with the crossroads, you might get a warning sign such yeah. as that but you're not always going to get that yeah um, again you may get different road markings like the give way uh, or the stop sign yeah if it's a stop sign um, you legally have to stop yeah oh, right, okay. where so do you think you're going to find those signs the stop signs are they on really difficult roads? Yeah, generally they're going to be quite difficult roads um, where maybe your visibility is really bad or mm. dangerous or the traffic's coming round fast or on right. a bend, etc. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to come across crossroads also at traffic lights, yeah? Okay. Um, so we're going to start approaching some traffic lights as well at crossroads. Now, um, if it is green, yeah, we have priority, but what do you think you might need to do as you go through? Do you think that you can just carry on? I think because it's green, I think possibly could just go, yeah. You can, yeah. Mm. However, if you get an emergency vehicle coming through, or a, even a, a boy racer, for instance, who might right. be going through, so can you see you have to, there's a risk there involved? Yeah. So as you go through, or as you approach, you need to just have a quick glance both ways before proceeding, yeah? Right, so just okay. in case. Yeah. We may come across box junctions. Now, if we do, then would you like me to just talk you through? Yeah. Do you I'm know what it sure. means? No, I'm not sure about those. I've, I've heard about them, but okay. I think everyone seems to be always sure of what you have to do. Okay, so I'll talk you through it, but let me just briefly touch on it. What it means is you've got to keep that junction clear. Right. You are only allowed to enter it if your exit road is clear. So let's say right. you're going to go straight on and the lights are on green, but there's a queue of traffic ahead. Yeah. If you went into that box junction and you couldn't cross it 
Yeah. Can you see if the lights change, where are you going to be ending up? Oh, uh, you'll be stuck in between all the so parts. You, so you've blocked the whole junction, yeah. haven't you? So that's why you've got to make sure that you can clear, or your exit road's got to be clear right. before you enter it. If you're turning right, though, yeah, you can enter it uh, so long as your exit road's clear. If you, uh, that's if you're prevented from turning right from oncoming traffic. Okay, so you can so wait in the middle. In the middle, so right. that when that when the lights change, that traffic's mm. got to stop, and then you can make your turn. Okay. So long as your exit road is clear. Right, oh, that's better now. I understand that. Okay, so we'll I'll talk you through it anyway. Okay, so the the bit you've got to think about is your observations. Now, just remind me when you got to the end of a T junction. What was your observations? Um, T junction. It was looking right. And left was it right left and right again excellent so we need to continue doing that okay but obviously you've got the added problem of the road ahead mm. so you will do the same observations but you look ahead as well so it's right ahead left ahead right yeah okay now um, if there's no one ahead it's not really too much of a problem but if there's a vehicle there really um, if they're turning in front of you you probably have priority but you need can't assume it so yeah. how might you make a judgment as to who's gonna go first do you think um, maybe keep an eye on them and if perhaps if they wait you can mm. perhaps start to go good what clues can you tell that they're gonna wait um, Maybe if they flash the lights or okay. wave you on or something. They may something. do, yeah. If they do, then we've got to make sure it's meant for us and that it's mm. safe for us to do that. So that's one thing. The other thing is, is he looking at you? If he's looking at you, yeah. what's he th what do you think he's let what, uh, or what do you think he's uh, allowing you to do? Maybe if he's looking, he's, he's perhaps he knows we're there. Um, Good. Maybe because he hasn't gone, he's perhaps thinking he'll let you go. Good. But what are we, what if he's moving his head both ways and look and not looking at you? Uh, maybe he hasn't seen us. So what do you think you might need to do there? Probably hold back a bit. Excellent. Until we see so these are doing. clues to look for. Look at the wheel movement, his car movement, mm. etc. These are the clues to look for. But yeah. don't worry, I'll talk you through. Okay. Um, just remind me on T junctions. Other than the cars, what else were you looking for? Oh, there's pedestrians as well. Things Good. like that. They and tend to cross at the junction. And motorbikes as well. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, we've got these positions here, offside to offside and near side to near side. If we're turning in fr uh, front of oncoming traffic, yeah, we're going to do what we call the offside to offside position. So if we look at this diagram here, um, so if we're the blue car, we would go around the red vehicle. Right. That way, can you see you're keeping your view open all the way around? Yeah. Yeah. Now, if we have the option, then that's what we will do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't have the option because the oncoming traffic might have positioned where you want to position, in which case we're going to have to do the near side to near side. Right. That's probably not the preferred way, yeah. be simply because, can you see your views blocked there in that diagram? Yeah, you can't see the cars coming down the side. Good. So, ideally you should avoid that, mm. should go for offside to offside. Um, but if we need to, then we're going to have to do this, but we'd have to be cautious. Okay. Sometimes road markings will dictate what we do, but yeah. we'd have to take that from there, yeah? Okay. Now, the other thing to bear in mind is um, if you're going along the major road, going straight through the crossroad, yeah, um, with the two side roads, who's got priority now? I think we have then. We have, yeah. But can you assume this traffic on the side roads will just stop for you? I think you can, but maybe still have to keep an eye on them. Yeah, good. So be beware, mm. yeah, especially if it's emergency vehicles coming through, maybe. Oh, yeah, because they yeah. might just go across. Okay, so just being uh, cautious before we carry on. So, um, because you want me to, would you like me to talk you through this, or would you like to have a go? Or would I you think like me probably to talk me through again just okay. to start with. Okay, so again, I'll take the responsibility mm. yeah, initially to keep us safe, the car safe, and the environment yeah. safe. And then I'll pass on some responsibility to you later. Okay, on. great. Okay. Yep. Um, okay, so we'll have a go now. Okay, good. Okay.